good. Nah, he regular dude. Regular nigga back then. But you know, nah, he was fly, but you know, he regular dressed up. But I'm talking about Bubba Goods out the game. What he say, Poo- man? I'm pulling in the car for getting What he bit. say, man? When he get in there, man? Man, what's up, baby? <laughs> you know they talk about. What's up, baby? Like, what's up, man? Man, shit, you ready to do this shit? Yeah, we on Boss Talk One One. Yeah, we gonna talk. Explain to me that that that. The time when you and when, when you and uh, Pimp C put that project together, when y'all put that song together, just give me a rundown on how you guys. Man, done we was that. recording a lot of stuff for PKO. And okay, I, and I was recording my album. Okay, and back then it was real studio time, ten hour blocks, twelve hour blocks, and you go from three to whatever time at night. And I came to the studio, and Snake was like, "Well, now my partner Pony J Nino was like, nigga, you doing a Pimp C song today?'" And I'm like, "Nigga, stop playing with me," you know. And back then you gonna watch Rap City. You know, mm-hmm. whatever music box song, I'm thinking they bullshitting or whatever it might be. And uh, um, my guy that was behind uh, Youngster Records, PKO, uh, Mark Adam, Magic Mark. Shout, shout out to Mark, man. He got a he got a spot in San Antonio called Mark Adams Burgers. That's the joint. If you ever in San Antonio, you'll fuck with it, man. But uh, this cat here, you know, we was on the Midwest Records right on Greenville and Forest Lane, and he, you know, I stood there like, man, you gonna do a song with PMC today? Like you bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Stop playing with me, man. <laughs> you know y'all playing, but I'm down to like the ending of recording my first album. And he's like, man, it's time to go get him, you know. So Damn. I, got my, I got my ass up. Like you, you want me to go get him? Yeah, go get him. Tell you what, go get him. I'm like, man, stop playing with me, bro. Like y'all bullshitting and playing. You didn't believe him. I did not believe him, not knowing they'd already talked to him, showed him my album cover, and everything. Y'all already seen it. Man, he already was up on top he of him. He liked you know? it. He loved it. And then when I picked him up, you know what I'm saying? He come out the apartment. It wasn't no fucking, you know, yeah, no. pin me the location. Mm-hmm. You had to Hell no. listen to the direction yeah. and shit like that. And I went down the street, well, not too far where we were, to pick him up and come out this goddamn apartment. I damn near lost it. You seen that nigga come out that hole. Man, I got Fly. Bubba Good. Nah, he regular dude. Regular. Bitch, I'm working good the nigga back then. But you know, nah, he was fly, but you know, he regular dressed up. But I'm talking about Bubba Goods out the game. What he say, Poo- man? I'm pulling in the car for getting What he bit. say, man? When he get in there, man? Man, what's up, baby? <laughs> you know they talk about. What's up, baby? Like, what's up, man? Man, shit, you ready to do this shit? I'm like, hell yeah, I'm gonna play some beats. Yeah, I'll play me some shit. So we riding back to the studio and shit. But the whole time, I'm shaking like this, driving. Like, <laughs> You know, I'm seeing this old. You know, we stopped at the gas station before we get to the back to the studio. And we sat down, we talked, and I'm rolling up and shit. You know, and back then we had the we had the whole corn. You know, we called it uh, cornbreads and green back then. Okay. So we got the whole little old mixture of what we what we were doing in the South Coast time, the Third Coast time at that moment, getting our mind right. Yeah. You know, so he went to, you know, hey man, I heard a lot of shit about you. Heard you can rap this in third. So nigga, spit something for me. I'll be riding We listen to me I'm with the rapping and shit Cause at this point I'm with it Like nigga I'm What Ryan did you rap man Man I don't remember You can't remember what you did I don't remember the rap But you know we was Back then it was freestyling <laughs> Yeah nigga just riding So we riding back and forth Going back and forth Yeah freestyling. Like okay nigga You that's got something That's real bro That's you know? heavy right there But when we got to the studio We kept the same vibe So before we came up with uh, Niggas be born big sweet Yeah Ooh. Ooh. Trying to stay satisfied Yeah Niggas in Texas It's so damn tired Oh. We had three other little hooks and shit that we was doing, but we was vibing so hard in the studio. He's like, man, let's get him do this bitch right here. And like, you know, now people record nigga to nigga, each nigga by itself. Yeah. Back then we had two mics, so we was catty corner. Okay. So the whole song was one take. Damn. It wasn't like, hey man, punch me in, we'll go back. The whole song was one take. One take. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And, and we laughing the whole time, like, nigga, that shit jamming like this. <laughs> Can't you know get saying? it. Yeah. And he taught me a lot about the whole confidence, the whole persona. You know, and back then, you know, I was even humble then. He was like, cotton mouth one day, you got to your nose up at these niggas, man. You know? Man. But that's how he was. But he embraced me from net, and then it didn't stop. Because I would go, when I, when I fucked up at the radio station, I went to Houston and it was already known down where this the nigga that tore the radio station up. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.